Dear brothers and sisters, in our life we are required to make many choices. Many choices, many things attract us and we cannot have them all. To choose some things means that we have to renounce others. The readings of today are on this theme of choice. The first reading from the Book of Wisdom has shown us the choice that Solomon made. He preferred wisdom to the goods of this world. He said, I prefer wisdom and I pray, I, he said, I pray and understanding was given to me. I called upon God and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred wisdom to the selfless and thrones. I encountered wealth as nothing in comparison with wisdom. Dear brothers and sisters, there is nothing that we can compare with wisdom. Wisdom is the most precious gift that we receive from God. Each one of us is here given that precious gift, the gift of wisdom. How do we welcome it? How do we sustain it? We need to take care of the wisdom that God has given to us. Salomon said, I love wisdom more than health and beauty. I choose to have her rather than life because her radiance never ceases. All good things come to me along with her, and in her unaccounted wealth. Dear brothers and sisters, if we choose to welcome the wisdom and to sustain her, we shall get everything we need. Good health, beauty, wealth, and everything we need. God is good. All the time. And all the time. All is about choice. Our Lord and the God does not impose things to us, but He gives us freedom to choose. Which kind of choice do we make? The Gospel. In the Gospel, we have just heard what is presented to us. And the Gospel is presenting us two parts. The first part is about the story of the rich man, and the second part is about the reward of those who choose to follow Jesus. The first part of the, just, of the Gospel tells us the story of a rich man. Jesus asked him to make a very committed and important choice either to follow him and become his disciples or to keep his goods and remain in his place. Jesus is inviting us to make a choice and go beyond the law. Did we follow the story of the rich man? The Gospel tells us that Jesus was setting out on his journey and a man ran out and kneeled before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, You know the commandments. Do not kill. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not be a false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. And the rich man said to Jesus, All these I have observed from my youth. Jesus looked at him and loved him, and said to him, You lack only one thing. You lack one thing. Go and sell what you have and give to the poor. 
poor and you will have treasures in heaven, then come and follow me. Then come and follow me. At that saying, his countenance fell and he went away sorrowful. Dear brothers and sisters, each one of us will lack one thing that we don't want to talk about. We lack one thing that we don't want to talk about. Jesus is asking us today to touch it so that we may have treasures in heaven. We may have been lacking wisdom. We may have been lacking leadership or kindness or joy. Do we accept the demands of uh, others so that we may work on what we are lacking? Or do we take ourselves as we know everything? We need to pray for the grace of humility to be able to welcome the remarks that others tell us. Dear brothers and sisters, what we think that is not possible, Jesus is telling us today that all things are possible with God. All things are possible with God. Let us put our trust in God because with Him all things are possible. <laughs> In the second part of the Gospel, Peter is eager to know about the reward of making the choice to follow Jesus. Peter said, Lord, behold, we have left everything and followed you. And Jesus said to him, truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers, or sisters, or mothers, or father, or children, or lands, for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundredfold in this time and in the age to come eternal life. Dear brothers and sisters, that is what we have been experienced in we have arrived here Friday, and when we arrived, we found a home, a house to live. We found a brother who welcomed us, and you, all of you, you are our brothers, you are our mothers, and you are our sisters. That is what Jesus taught us in the gospel and that is the grace that we received when we make the choice to follow Jesus. We have chosen to follow Jesus and if we are here in this church today it is for the sake of the gospel. All of us, we are brothers, we are sisters. We have our mothers here, and the place where we are, it is the land of God, the land which belongs to the church, and we are the children of the church. It, is, it belongs to us. We are brothers and sisters. May the good Lord grant us the grace to follow him according to his will. God is good. This is the way that forces one to take radical decisions, to make a radical